Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Force here with the final, final conclusion of The Walking Dead, episode number four. I know it's been a while since the last episode. What had happened is the, the last half of my prior recording actually was corrupted, and as a result, I had to replay the entire episode, which is a good two hours worth of time, just to get up to this point where we last left off. Let me give you guys a quick reminder, though, before we pick things back up. Uh, we're currently in Crawford, and we're looking for supplies to get our boat that we found in the abandoned house back up and running. Uh, now right now our current objective is to try to figure out how to get inside of that cabinet. I have found a tape, let's go ahead and re-watch it and uh, just a, again as a quick reminder as to where we are. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak, 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Standard practice. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. What? You don't like babies? As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. <laughs> you don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't think... I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Sure. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. He's safe to say that he is not pro-choice. <laughs> uh man. Well, we know who he's voting for. <laughs> Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? The worst well, kind. Said, the worst kind. Oh, man. Lee, Look at that. maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Radio. Alright, so, uh, Doctor, Doctor in the Alley might have another tape we're gonna look for, and hopefully this time it will, uh, reveal the little passcode there. Let's go ahead and go back out into the alley. Uh, so yeah, once again, guys, I do apologize for the lateness of this episode. I literally, literally just had to find the time to sit down and, and replay the entire thing. It's... It was kind of annoying, to say the least, so. Do, 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 do. Dead walkers that are shot in the face. Let's see if Molly's back, huh? I wonder what she's up to. Molly, you there? Guess not. <laughs> All right, so the alleyway's back over here. I'm a little bit concerned about walking back over here, though, because uh, aren't there all the zombies there? Aren't all the zombies going to be still there? I mean, unless the zombies that were outside of the doctor's office are the ones that were in the alley and they came through the door and went over. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know where those other zombies really appeared from, fortunately to say. Fortunately enough, deliveries made in the rear. Did I make that joke last time? <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Guess we got to go through this way. Climb back up. Here. What? You need to eat. There is he. You gonna kill him or? Oh. <laughs> oh man, this goes to show you guys. Television kills. Stay away. Watch the internet. Nice and safe. <laughs> uh, although I guess when you're on the computer, you're actually really close to electronics, and if for some reason something were a short short circuit, you could get electrocuted. So maybe you actually watching stuff on the computer isn't safe. What you should do is you should watch from the couch with your computer running and just get like a wireless mouse and keyboard or just do it via controller. Let's curb stomp this fool. There you go. He's a zombie. It's okay. Search his corpse and look for a tape. And there it is, 82 OB. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Confusing. 
Zombies. How am I gonna get Shit. back? Time to go. The garage door's locked, the fence has got barbed wire on top. Oh, they're not. <laughs> they're not even gonna let me wonder about that, huh? They're just gonna automatically bring me back here. I I'm confused, because I, I get how we got over the fence, because we climbed up that thing and we jumped over the, the fence, you know? But how do we get back the other way? I don't know that that is, uh... Oh, you know what? Maybe that code is for this okay. thing here. This must have been his locker. Look at that. Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Another tape, too. Baller. Got two tapes. Let's see, uh... Let's see what we got going on here. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Alright, we got another tape here. Let's see what's going on. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. How do you know? Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Don't be a sheep, Maybe doctor. One day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Not making the rules isn't a reason to be... immoral. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter much. Because now he's been stabbed. No. No. <laughs> See what you get for blindly following the rules? Doctor. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't agree. I don't think she should have stabbed him. What happened to Crawford. She could have just More left, right? We got the combination. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You all right? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Just sympathizing for her fellow lady friend. I understand. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. No meds okay, should be all set. I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Alright, well, let me see. That's... Let's see. I still have another tape on me. Let's see what that third tape's all about, huh? Give it a look. Do 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 do. Uh, what are you doing in front of the? Oh oh. oh. Listen, as long as it was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Oh yes, man. We had a deal. We don't anymore. She's uh. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? She's uh, trading services for goods here. In case you, in case you missed the obviousness of that. <laughs> well, shit. Well, shit indeed. Oh man. Oh man, Molly. What'd your parents say, huh? All right, let's get back. <laughs> oh, snap. Let's get back to the uh, classroom here. Got to check on Clementine, too. It has been... Cle I've left Clementine alone for a week? Oh, God, guys, what's wrong with me? Jeez, I'm crow. Oh. Jesus Christ! Molly. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. What do you mean about that? It's a battery. 
I'm just kidding. You're a funny lady, Molly. I know what you do. I've seen it. Here you go. Thank you. Now, I think it's time we talk. What's that? Nothing. Looks like a picture. You lied to me. You lied to me. What? You yes. said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You right. saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? Just be upfront with me. I guess that's up to you. Be straight with me, Ma. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. That is before they came and took my sister away. It's kind of sad. It's a sad story. Can we come for her, Lee? This is all I have left of her. Make her feel better? No, don't don't go down that road. That's not I what I was talking about. I didn't have take it before I got out I understand. I understand. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Bell be ringing. I put all the zombies over there before. Hello? What's that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh, Jesus! Chip! Ben! Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, what and then doing? I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, uh, ben? Where did you get that? Isn't that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Son of a. Oh, shit! God damn it, Ben. From the zombies in the school? What's wrong with you? Look at this ninja. Oh god, watch out. Lee! Shoot! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. Wasn't me. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Clementine. Thanks. <laughs> Clementine, what are you doing? Alright, so. Freaking A Ben. What the hell? What the fuck is going on? Freaking Benjamin. Oh shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. God damn it. Ben. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. It is. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Not now, Ben. I let them in. Don't. Ben, we don't have time for this don't. now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. D He's got a right to know. No. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Ben, he's gonna kill you, Ben. Ben, he's gonna kill you. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor oh, inn, slipping idiot. them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. But when it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Okay, calm down. Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Uh... Nice group you got here. 
Not the time, Molly. For real. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! So Kenny, we'll later. sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! <laughs> well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Uh, why are we voting now? Aren't there zombies just right outside the front door? Of course you get a vote, Clementine. Too cute. Of course you do. Ah, uh, damn. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. Uh, that's my vote. There you go, Clem. That's nice. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't... <sighs> I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Hey, Clementine's so happy. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey, now can we go? Uh. Damn right. Vernon, come on! That's what we get for voting with zombies outside of the front door. Damn. It's gruesome. Crap. Why is the door not closing? Oh, because we broke it. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Do, 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 do. Zombies chasing us. Time to go. Okay. Fuck! This is not Let's where we want to be. Back upstairs. <laughs> Holy crap! Ah, shotgun. Great. Lee, look. Thank you, sir. Get to running. How many rounds I got in this bad boy? Infinite rounds. I would not mind if I have infinite rounds. S to back away. Left trigger to shoot in face. You don't even really have to shoot in the face. You can pretty much just shoot about anywhere. Just keep shooting it. Look at my headshots, guys. Skills. Skills. What? Uh-oh. Get my leg out. Get these guys. Okay. Pull my, pull my leg out. Come on. That guy, pull my leg out. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Get that guy, pull my, pull my, get my leg out. Whew. All right, keep backing it up. Oh, jeez, kill the zombies. Kill the zombies. Hey, you, friend. Hatchet to kill the zombies. This guy in the face. That guy, we're gonna get him. In the face as well. Face is a good place to aim for. I appreciate it. That was a nice kick. Hey, this guy. There you go. In the face, and then this guy. Just wrecking zombies today, huh? Well, shoot him. Nice. Come on! We're going. Hey there, Clem. It's alright, Clem. Let's keep moving. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yep. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Why do you ask me about the railroad? <sighs> Suspicious. Yeah, come on, let's go! Why is the bell ringing? <laughs> Are you serious? Holy crap. Did I shoot him in the face? Uh oh. Benjamin. Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Hold on tight. Let's go. Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! 
There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, no Ben. time to talk. Come on. Let's go, Ben. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. No, don't give me that face. I'm, I, I'm just gonna drop him. I can easily pick him up. Actually, no, you know, uh, kind of weak. We both know. Lee, Lee's a little weak. I've seen him. Let me go. Lee, don't. Come on, just, just pull him up. Damn it. Before these guys, pull him up. Why would I not make that choice? So yeah, I'll drop him. Save Ben's life. Why? Go, go, go! Because I want you to suffer. <laughs> I want you to think about the things that you've done. You can't do that when you're dead, Ben. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Okay, that's, you see? That's why I didn't leave Clementine here alone with Omid. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. Because I knew he was going to die. Turn into a zombie. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh, zombie. Skin. Hey. It's really him. Back already? <laughs> Everyone thought you were dead. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. How you doing, buddy? There you go. Have the morphine. Actually, no morphine. Is the morphine liquid? You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. <laughs> Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Come Guys, on. what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with Ooh. a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. I don't know why. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. I don't know why Ben felt it necessary to say that. I'm gonna make everyone hate him. I'm sorry about Bree, Doctor. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. It's kind of... kind of true. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her, but this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? Mm. I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. And a lot of us have uh, had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Whoa. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. I don't, That's what you want for her. I don't think so. It? Be safe. You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course. Take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. What is he even implying? I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Like she's looking for a father figure? Lee can do that. Lee's a good, Lee's a good man. Had a spotted past, but things have been done for good intentions. I don't want to leave Clementine behind. Are you kidding? What's something? You know how much regret I would have if something were to happen hey, to her? Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. 
I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Why isn't she coming uh, with us? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Hmm. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. All right. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Hope she's, uh... Alright. I could, I mean, I could see that. I could see... And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. I could Ain't see... nothing to do with luck. It, things being easier in a sense being alone in a situation like this. A zombie apocalypse. Being able to just have to worry about taking care about yourself, but... I wouldn't that get lonely? I mean, I'm not much for interaction, as Kenny's is, but... Be. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. No one ever? What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Florida. Someplace else? That's true. <laughs> Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's guilty. Conscious. Uh, should I say that, though? He's been through a lot. There we go. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Uh... There may not be time. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clem, honey, I don't think your <laughs> parents are here. Hey there, shh. It's okay, it's okay. Don't cry. Oh, Clementine. <sighs> Making little girls cry, Lee. Way to go. I mean, what is, what is the possibility that her parents are still alive and they weren't in Crawford and they weren't in the group of refugees? I, I mean, I guess it is. There is a possibility. They could have been making their way back to, uh, back home, you know, where they knew Clementine was or where they thought Clementine was. They could be there right now. Looks like they <sighs> took a little nap. Clementine. Clementine's gone. Maybe she's downstairs eating breakfast. Clementine? That's something else. I never see these people eat. Now, I know you can live a while without food. It's really just water that is really required. I don't remember the exact... I think people... I think it's like... You can live a few weeks without food, but a water, it's only like a week. Or a few days to a week. Before you, uh... Dive dehydration. Clementine! Clementine! Nope. Oh, Clementine's hat. God. She's... Probably not swinging on the swing set and then fell off her head. <laughs> That's probably not what happened. What the hell, Clementine? Where did you go? Hmm. What does the D stand for? What is that? Oh, son of a crap. There's a remote right there. She hiding behind the cardboard box? The trash binge? Trash binge? Clementine. Please tell me you're here. That is not Clementine. That is a zombie. Kill him. Right, well, where the heck is Clementine? What the hell's going on? There's a walkie. We've got our hat. And. Uh. Um, no. No. Is that no. is that a no. is that a bite? Lee? Lee, you out here? Oh, son of a crap! Lee, uh, are you 
Is this serious? Is are he... you crazy? What are you doing out oh here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Uh, Clementine ain't in the house either. I gotta show him. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? I can't. It's mine. Son of a crap. <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. Yeah, There's I no know. time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Whatever <laughs> she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Uh... I don't know what to do. I need help to find her. That's true. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. I'm like gonna turn into a zombie though. You guys realize that, right? Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Come on, I helped you with your family. Clementine's my family, man. You know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Kotch and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. All right. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. <laughs> I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. <laughs> Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. We gotta give him. We gotta give him a chance. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine stood up for you, coward. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If oh, someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? That's a good point about the boat. Can I change my... Can I change my vote? I mean, Omid's still kind of dying. Maybe he should just stay here. <laughs> I just really haven't connected with Omid, the character. I don't know. This is, uh... This is really shitty. Why is... Why... Damn it, Clementine. She's probably off looking for her parents. I wish we... I wish we had just an opportunity to explain to her. It's like, look, honey... They're probably not around anymore. You know? <clears throat> probably not here. Let's see. Behind door number one. Nothing. Then they have like a bunch of stuff, like candles and... Where the hell are they? Things. I guess they just packed up and left. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Seriously, where... The... Did they go back to Crawford? God damn it. <sighs> what the hell? I'm about to turn into a zombie and... Clementine's missing. Episode 5 is going to be terrible. Oh, great. Now there's walkers coming, too. Can I 
Can't make anything any worse. What the hell are we supposed to do here? You know what I'm confused about the water? I mean, can you, can you theoretically just kill them all eventually? I guess though, whenever. Uh, Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell? Oh, that's a creepy guy on the radio. Who is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. The asshole who stole Clementine. You're fucking dead. <laughs> of course, to be continued in episode number five. No time left. Little statistics here as to how we compare to everyone else. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. I know it took a little bit longer than it should. Uh, on episode five, once that finally comes out, I'll be more on the ball as to getting those all out. It was a, it was an unfortunate situation with a corrupt video file that took this uh, so long to come out. But we are here now, and hopefully you did enjoy the conclusion to episode number four, around every corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching. Oh, look at this. I was in the majority. Took everybody. Some 6% decided to go alone. That seems dangerous. Just kind of saying. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.